So my name is Rob McGavin. I work for the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries, and I'm one of the researchers working on a quite interesting project looking at veneer processing of, of coconut stems. So what we've got here is a, a disc cut through an old senile coconut palm, and what we're going to have a quick look at is some of the some of the material makeup of of these old senile trees or old senile palms. So unlike wood, these are a, a, a monocot with, with quite a different structure to what we would normally expect, uh, expect of, uh, of wood. And what's interesting to note is, uh, is these speckled approach, which is, uh, which is essentially these vascular bundles. They're these little small black or dark brown um, dots, I suppose, which are essentially like cables or, or columns working up and down the tree. So in an, in, in an old senile tree, on the periphery, we expect these vascular bundles to be quite large in diameter and quite quite frequent, a high frequency of them. In the lower density part of the tree, more towards the centre, we expect a, a, a lower occurrence or a lower frequency of these vascular bundles. So with our coconut stem, we have a massive variation of properties from the middle of the tree as we move towards the outside. And that variation in key properties, uh, things like density and mechanical properties, things like, uh, like stiffness, um, at potentially four or five times the magnitude of variability we would expect in a normal, normal wood forest resource. We can see here on our example of veneer, the influence of these vascular bundles, these darker streaks, intermixed with our much lighter parenchyma softer tissue. So this veneer has been removed from our outer periphery log, so you can see quite a, quite a, a dark mottled appearance with a, with our high frequency of these vascular bundles that have been cut through. And then intermixed amongst that, we have our much lighter colour, softer parenchyma tissue.